Okay, let's do some Commodore 64 assembly programming. I will be using CB and PRG Studio for this example, and I assume and hope that you have some knowledge of 6502 assembly language and hexadecimal numbers. Let's quickly talk a bit about C64 screen. Normally C64 visible text mode screen is 320 pixels wide and 200 pixels high, and there are borders around that visible screen. First visible pixel line after top border is at raster line 50. In text mode, screen is made of characters. Each character is 8x8 pixel size. There are 40 columns of characters per row and 25 rows in the screen. If you do the math, 40 characters per row multiplied by 8 equals 320 pixels as width, and 25 rows multiplied by 8 equals 200 pixels as height. That was C64 text screen mode explained quickly and without going into too much detail for now. If you have been playing C64 games or watching intros or demos, you most likely have seen some stuff like score or text on top or bottom borders. One good example is game called Delta by Stavros Fasolas. On top border there are current points and number of lives for the players. On bottom border there are extra powers for the ship. So, how are those borders removed and how are those graphics displayed in borders? Trick to remove top and bottom borders is to change screen from 25 rows to 24 rows just before video chip starts to draw bottom border and repeat same on every time screen is redrawn. And here is some kind of flowchart how border removal works. Normal text mode graphics can't be displayed on borders, even if those borders are removed. Luckily C64 has things called sprites, and there are 8 of those. Sprites are 12 or 24 pixels wide and 21 pixels high blocks of graphics that can be put anywhere on screen, even under borders. So what do we need to know to remove those borders? First, we need to figure out where the screen row is at the moment, and second, we need to know how to change screen from 25 rows to 24 rows. So, let's look into some C64 VIC2 chip registers. First, we have register at address D012. By reading D012, we get current raster line. And second, we have register at address D011. With bit 3, we can select screen height. If bit is clear, screen has 24 rows, and if bit is set, screen has 25 rows. Ok, now we have all information that we need to pull off trick of removing top and bottom border. So let's get started with the code. First, let's disable interrupts so they don't mess up things. Then let's wait raster line 250.
Now let's change screen height to 24 rows. Then we wait raster line 252. Now we change screen height back to 25 rows. And then we check if space was pressed. Last, we just allow interrupts again and exit. And now let's run this thing. As you see, light blue borders are removed, but now there is still black thing in top and bottom borders. So let's do something for those black things at the borders. Let's first try setting 0F to address 3FFF. So now borders have these black stripes instead. Let's remove those two by setting value 0, 0 to address 3FFF. And now, as you see, black things has disappeared from the borders. And here's code with the comments. Just read those if you want. And let's just run this thing last time.